Welcome back guys to the Koi Pan Experience. In this video, we're gonna do an unboxing and a mini review of this automatic fish feeder from Jebao. This is how the item looks like. A little bit fancy looking, just a little bit. Okay, so let's check the features. This has a digital clock, which you can set by its LCD over here. And then you can set up up to six different schedules per day. So six feeding schedules. That's the maximum you can do. And food quantity, you can set the food quantity for each of those six feeding schedule, which is a pretty nice feature. And then next, it has a manual feeding button over here. I think it's here, it's in the HM. So let's say you're sitting around your pond and you want to feed your fish. You can just press this HM button and it will dispense food. But your schedules will not be affected. And then it has a 5 liter food capacity, this container. 5 liters, so quite a lot. Probably good for two or three days of feeding. Also has a support bracket if you want to mount this thing around your koi pond permanently. That's, the bracket. Well, that's what the brackets are for. So let's open it and see the item itself. Let's go! Okay, so here it is. This is how the item looks like. This is the cover or the lid. Sort of manual. Let's check out the main item first. So over here is the user interface. It's the LCD. We have here the battery power indicator. This will tell you if you have low battery. And this one is some sort of a speaker for the beeping sound that it makes. And we have six buttons here. And you can close it if you like. Over here, I don't know if you're familiar with this. This is an AC in. In case you don't want to use batteries, you can purchase separately an AC adapter that is, where is it? Six volts. Okay. If you have that, you can plug it in here and you won't have to use batteries anymore. Okay, so talking about batteries, this is where you put the battery. We need one, two, three, four batteries for this item and the battery cover battery lid cover be very gentle about this this is very fragile I've broken a few of these styles of uh, clips before yeah then the on off button all the way to the right is on all the way to the left is off uh, Jebao here yeah. the rest are in Chinese Oh, over here, this is where the koi food comes out. And check out the inside. That's the inside. Now, let's check the rest of the item that comes with it. These are the brackets. I'll show you how to put them. So, there's an insert here. The brackets there. And insert there. And then there's another one here. Same. Insert. There. And you can put this in your favorite spot in your pond. And use this screws. There. One, two, three, four. To permanently position it so it won't fall off your pond. Set this aside and the screws. This one is some sort of food agitator. You put this inside over here. There. So, this one is the food exit tray. We just insert it over here. Pretty easy, pretty straightforward. 
Okay. So easy. Okay. Oh, talking about the batteries on this thing. focus on the battery so here are a set of batteries I'm going to show you this is your standard double A batteries your type D battery and your type C battery the one that we're going to use is the type C battery this one okay do not purchase this big battery here it's too big and it's going to be useless then the double A is too small so this is what we need okay this one so let's put some batteries in this item now. Turning it on in three, two, one. Yeah. So it shows it's at 1200 and the motor is running. Hope you can see it. The moment you turn it on, the motor will run just to check if everything is working if it's not working the LCD will show an error message it's gonna say ERR right now everything is smooth and working so it's spinning now I'm gonna show you how to do the clock settings timer settings and volume of food settings for this Jebao automatic fish feeder first up is the clock just press the clock button here then press the set button so it's blinking meaning you can change it so the timer button is to change the minutes the clock button here is so you can change the R so let's assume it's 8.45 a.m. right now it's 8.45 a.m. because this is military time so that's 0845 minutes then click run run means to save so that's the save button the run button to go back again to the clock it's 8 45 so let's say you want to do it as the p.m. time so how are you gonna set that I'll show you click the clock button and then set and then press the clock for the R and let's say it's 1 p.m. so that's gonna be 1300 and then set this all the way to 00, zero. so that's 1300 is 1 p.m. That's how you set that. That's for the clock settings. Next up, we'll do the timer settings. Just press timer button here. And then click set. There. You can do the timer settings on the exact R only. You cannot do it with in between minutes like 130, 230, or 115. You can only do it on the exact R. That's why this leads up to 24 or 00. zero. Let's say you want to feed at 8 a.m. You have to put this at 8. That is 8 a.m. Then click save. There. The one here on the first means this is your schedule number one 8 a.m. if you want to do another schedule let's say you want to feed that 11 a.m. just click the timer then click this is your second schedule then set click timer run it to 11 which is 11 a.m. there and then run or save now you have two scheduled feedings already your number one feeding is at 8 a.m. And then your number two feeding is at 11 a.m. Let's say you want to feed again at 3 p.m. Press timer again. So number three setting is still empty. So click set. And then press the timer. For 3 p.m. in military time, that's 1500. So we'll set this at 15. And then click set. There. That's your third feeding schedule. To check your other feeding schedules, just press timer. So four is still empty, and then five or fifth is still empty. You can set that if you want. And then six is still empty. And it goes back to one because 
this only has six different feeding schedules. That's the maximum you can have. I hope you got that. Okay. Next up now is the amount of volume of food that it will dispense per your feeding session. Let's say here on your first session, 8 a.m. How many times will this fish feeder dispense food? We can set that, this number one schedule here, over here on the volume, and then just find the number one schedule. Just press it. So there's number one, and then click set. This is schedule number one, and then this is the amount. If it's number two, meaning it will dispense two times. Okay? Set. It will dispense two times on first speeding schedule. If you want to increase it, you can set it to three and then save. Let's say on your second feeding schedule, how much would you want it to dispense? Let's say you only want to dispense one. There. Click save. Then let's say on your third feeding session, you want to dispense four times. You just click four here and then save. So let's run that again. On the first feeding schedule at 8 a.m., that's three times to dispense food. On your second schedule, just one time dispensing of food. Then on the third schedule, it will dispense four times. Basically, that's it. I hope you got that. And the clock right now is 13.10. So that's 1.10 p.m. By the way, if you want me to make more videos like this, please comment below. Click the subscribe button so you'll know when a new video from me is available. For manual feeding, you have to press this HM button. M means uh, manual. Let's see. I'm gonna show you. Yeah. Did you hear that beeping sound? Come closer so you can hear the sound. The motor is winding. Come out, come out. So that's it. This is the amount of food that came out. We'll try to weigh this as to how much in grams this is, okay? That's just 7 grams of koi food. Not much. But if you dispense it six times, so seven grams times six, it's gonna be 42 grams, which is quite a lot already, 42 grams per feeding session, if you can do it. So, let's try to do that, six times of feeding. I'm gonna hear the motor. I'm gonna let you hear it. That was the motor winding. So that's the first dispense. There's five more coming up. That's the second. Come closer again. The motor's still winding. I really hope you can hear this. That's the sound of the motor winding.
there's a third dispense three more coming up if you have the patience <laughs> That's the fourth. Two more coming. There goes the fifth. And one more dispensation. The last one, the sixth one. There, that's the last one. Six times it dispensed the food. Okay, motor's quiet now. No more sound. Let's try to weigh how much this six times dispensation will weigh in grams, okay? Okay, 44 grams. Very good. That is acceptable. Okay, 44 grams guys for six times dispense. I'm really happy. <laughs> okay. So in closing, I do highly recommend this Jebao automatic fish feeder. It does what it says it can do. And my main focus was on how much food in grams it can dispense for feeding session and at 44 grams 42 grams per feeding session that's pretty okay for me since I feed almost that amount of food for feeding session go ahead guys buy with confidence for this item and I assure you you will not regret it thank you for watching if you're new to my channel please 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 do subscribe and if this video was something nice for you please hit the like button See you on my next video. Bye-bye.